Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about radar cross section of the target. So, what do you mean by radar cross section of the target? So, radar cross section of the target is indicated by sigma. Okay, it is the main important factor in the maximum radar range equation. What is the basic and standard maximum radar range equation? R max is equal to Pt g sigma ae by 4 pi square s min whole power 1 by 4. So, if you see this maximum radar range equation, sigma plays a crucial role in the determination of maximum radar range. Okay, sigma is a important factor in the maximum radar range estimation. Okay, so sigma is known as cross section of the target, radar cross section of the target. Suppose uh, in which angle the target is viewed by the radar system that determines the radar cross section of the target. Suppose one object is there, uh, this is the shape of the object. Okay, let us consider this is the shape of the object, a different shape. Okay. Now, yeah, if the radar system is located at this particular point and this is the area that is viewed by this radar system, then how this radar, how this uh, target is appeared towards the radar system, it's like a straight line because the other part is not in the vicinity of the radar system. Okay, so the, particularly it is known as radar cross section of the target, radar cross section of the target in which angle it is viewed by the radar system. Okay, suppose if it is changing its direction or changing its orientation, then what happens? It results into a different value of sigma so that the maximum radar range equation will be uh, varied. Okay, so that's why it is very important to study about the maximum uh, radar cross section of the target here, sigma. Okay, now what we are doing is we are changing, we are giving one by one, we are changing. Um, one by one accurately okay first we have concentrated on yes minimum we have changed it now we are going to change the value of sigma that means i am not changing i am just uh, studying about sigma how the sigma is affecting the performance of the maximum radar range equation okay so first how it is going to be uh, defined is the maximum radar range uh, sorry the mag uh, that radar cross section of the target sigma is defined as the radar cross section of the target sigma is defined as sigma is defined as it is the ratio of power reflected towards power reflected towards source per unit angle power reflected towards source per unit angle divided by Incident power density, incident power density per 4 pi. Okay, the radar cross section of the target sigma is defined as the ratio of power reflected towards the source. What is the amount of power reflected towards the radar system? Source is nothing but radar system here. Okay, per unit solid angle, per unit angle divided by incident power density what is the amount of power density we are transmitting pd okay that is pd per 4 pi okay so that can be written as limit r tends to infinity 4 pi r square because we are taking at a distance of r we are taking and studying this entire logic at a distance r e r by e i mod square okay so limit r tends to infinity 4 pi r square e r by e i mod square so where r is nothing but distance between the radar and the target we know it very well where r is nothing but distance between radar and target and er what is er reflected field strength at radar reflected field strength at 
yet radar what is the amount of power reflected back towards the source or radar system so ei is nothing but incident field strength incident field strength okay so generally for large targets the cross section of the target will be large okay so generally for large targets if the target size is very high then the sigma cross section of the target is also very high that is completely dependent on the size of the target now let us draw the characteristics of this received signal uh, between circumference per wavelength circumference over wavelength to the normalized radar cross section of the target okay circumference by wavelength nothing but 2 pi a by lambda okay consider a target spherical target i am taking so with a radius a 2 pi a it is nothing but circumference 2 pi a by lambda wavelength operating wavelength lambda is nothing but c by f operating frequency f is nothing but operating frequency so 2 by 2 pi a by lambda if we draw the characteristics between this circumference over wavelength to the normalized radar cross section then these are the characteristics that it comes so these characteristics entirely divided into three regions one is rally region another one is me or resonance region me or resonance region and third one is optical region very 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 important so these characteristics of this radar cross section of the target has been divided into three parts one is rally region second one is me or resonance region and third one is optical region in rally region the circumference per wavelength is very less this value is very less almost we can say this value 2 pi a by lambda is less than less than 1 because see the values 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 like that so these values are very very less than 1 so 2 pi a by lambda and if you go to the me or resonance region you can say 2 pi a by lambda is approximately equal to 1 see the values are present over 1 and at this point only it is having maximum peak okay so as the, at this particular point it is having maximum peak that region is known as mainly resonance region resonance is nothing but where we are having maximum amplitude at one particular frequency okay now coming to the third region optical region where the signal has been stabilized and that region 2 pi a by lambda is greater than greater than 1 so as it is going beyond the values then it is coming to greater than greater than 1 okay so these are the characteristics of this uh, circumference over wavelength to the radar cross section which is normalized now so the three regions are rally region where the circumference power wavelength is less than less than 1 and second one is me or resonance region where the circumference over lambda circumference over wavelength is equal to 1 and third one is optical region optical region where the circumference our wavelength is greater than greater than 1 okay these are the three different regions that your radar cross section of the target characteristics are being defined now i will explain about individual region so coming to first region rally region rally region so what do you mean by rally region i told you already the circumference of our wavelength is less than less than 1 is less than less than 1 that means we can also write it as circumference is less than less than the operating wavelength operating wavelength that means 
in this region the size of the sphere is small compared to the wavelength 2 pi a by lambda that means this particular region is meant for very small objects very small objects see the wavelength is very less compared to the circumference of the circumference of the object okay as the circumference of the object is very very small compared to the operating wavelength so this particular region is especially meant for small objects especially meant for the detection of small objects even the example is we can also say example is raindrops raindrops such small objects can also be identified by using this Rayleigh region in this Rayleigh region Second one is me or resonance region. Me or resonance region where 2 pi a by lambda is approximately equal to 1. We can also write it as 2 pi a is equal to lambda. That means the circumference is equal to the wavelength circumference is equal to the wavelength this particular region is for moderate moderate objects this particular region is for that means the frequency of operation if it is in this particular range the frequency of operation of that particular radar system is used for the detection of moderate objects not even small and not much bigger okay and third one is optical region optical region this particular region 2 pi a over lambda is greater than greater than 1 we can write it as circumference is equal uh, is greater than circumference is greater than lambda what do you mean by this one what do you mean by this statement 2 pi a is greater than greater than lambda that means the operating wavelength is very small compared to the objects diameter objects is circumference okay that means what is the size of the object now size of the object is very high size of object is large size of the object is large okay example we can say that warships or aircrafts So aeroplanes, so such type of big uh, large items can large uh, targets can be identified in this particular optical region because it is having uniform characteristics as the frequency as the circumference per wavelength increases as the frequency increases the characteristics goes on stabilizer. So it is going like this and going stabilizer. So if so on x axis we have 2 pi a by lambda so lambda is inversely proportional to frequency so as frequency increases the characteristics are going stabilized this type of nature is required for the detection of large objects okay so this is about the radar cross section of the target and the operating modes like Rayleigh region optical region and me region okay thank you